Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today we are going to be going over NVR firmware updates. I'm going to give you guys some information on why they're important, as well as I'm going to teach you guys how to update your NVRs. So a couple reasons why you're going to want to upgrade your NVR firmware. One of them is the user interface. Generally, when we release a new firmware update, it's going to polish it up, clean it up, make it a lot more efficient to use and manage. Basically, the user interface is always improved with every firmware update. Sometimes it changes drastically, sometimes it just changes a little bit. But overall, it's going to be an improvement no matter what. Uh, second reason is going to be because new abilities or features are going to be implemented in some of our newer cameras. And in order to host those features and accommodate them, the NVR software needs to have those implemented into the firmware. So by doing that and upgrading your NVR firmware, that's going to give you access to the new abilities and features on our new cameras. So the first step in all of this is going to be determining what model NVR you have. This is going to dictate what firmware is appropriate for your system. To look up the model of your NVR if you're not quite sure what it is, this actually is found on the bottom of the unit. And it usually starts with MNR. Once you've determined if you have a 12,000 series or an 8,000 series of one of your NVRs, the next step is going to be downloading the proper firmware. To start this, you want to go to Monteview.com on any computer or Mac, and web browser is probably not going to matter. Then, once you're at our web page, you're going to want to navigate over to the Help Center. Then scroll down and go down to Firmware Updates, and then of course NVR Firmware Updates. And on the NVR firmware updates page, you'll notice that we've got all of our separate systems uh, from 4 to 32 channel, and then each one will have the 8000 series and the 12000 series firmware. So in order to download the appropriate one, just select the one that corresponds to your model number and click on the blue buttons to the right. If you're on a PC Windows based, you'll notice the download should start in the lower left corner. So once your download's done, you're either going to want to go to the recent downloads folder, which is where it most likely is, or a little trick is if you're still on the web browser, navigate to the lower left corner and select show in folder. This will take you automatically to where it's located. At this point, you're going to want to make sure that your USB flash drive is inserted into the computer, and then you're going to want to transfer the files from the recently downloaded file folder to the flash drive folder, just like so. Usually it's going to be a drag and drop. Okay, the last step on the PC is to right click on your USB flash drive and choose eject to safely exit your USB out of the system. Next, you can remove the USB from the computer and go over to your NVR. Now, all of our NVRs are gonna have two USB inserts. One is typically gonna be in the front and then the other one's in the back. Once you've got the USB entered, if you are signed into your NVR, you should get a pop-up window that will prompt you for a system upgrade. Then all you have to do is navigate to System Upgrade, choose your USB, and then select the firmware file within the USB list. Then just hit Start Upgrade. Once your system is fully upgraded, it will reboot, and then when it comes back up, uh, it may look different and your user interface is most likely going to change a bit. So a second way that you can install, if you don't have a USB flash drive handy, is you're going to want to acquire the IP address of your NVR and that will allow you to do the web login through a PC. Personally, I think this is a little bit of an easier, more efficient way, so this is probably what I would recommend going with. So once you have the IP address, which can be found on the main menu, then select network, and then TCP slash IP, your IP address will be listed at the very top. Take this number, go to a computer, open up any web browser, and then type in that number in the address bar on top. This will take you to the web login page. Then you'll want to use your admin credentials and your password to log into the NVR remotely. Once we're in, similar to directly on the NVR, we're going to navigate over to operation, then system maintain, and then we're going to choose the upgrade tab. Now here we can just directly browse for the files straight on our computer. Again, we're going to want to go to the recent downloads folder and select that firmware file. And once we've got it selected, go ahead and choose Upgrade. And you'll notice that once it's uploaded, your NVR will probably reboot. 
and you're going to lose that web page. It might even turn into a 404 error, but just keep hitting the refresh button and eventually that web login will come back. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you for the NVR updates. Uh, hopefully everything worked out for you and you're able to follow this video and there were no obstacles. However, if you guys are having technical issues or if you guys just have further questions, maybe something I did not cover in this video, go ahead and give our tech services a call. The guys are here Monday through Friday and we can answer any question, big or small. So thanks for joining us, guys. Always welcome to have you here in Montevideo and have a good day.